Okay, so what is pop up to? And pop up to inclusive. So let's say we have a circular navigation graph like A to B, B to C, and go back to A again. So it's a like circular navigation graph and we have a back stack. So if we go A, B, A to B, it's going to be stacked A first and B is going to be stacked. And if we reach to C, it's going to be stacked as well. And if we go back to A, it's going to be stacked and B is going to be stacked, and C is going to be stacked, and so on, repeatedly. But actually this is really inefficient. So what I want is I just want to keep A, B, C, like just three of them. So for that, we're going to add an attribute to the action C to A, pop up to A. So what this means is, so we have A to B, B to C. But when we go to C to A, before we navigate to A, we're going to pop up to A first, which means I'm going to pop C first, like this, and I'm going to pop B for a uh, second, and we're going to pop up to A. So A is going to remain like this and pop up to inclusive save true this means that we're gonna pop this a as well we're gonna pop the destination as well so before we go to a the backstack is gonna be cleared and a to b is gonna be stacked again and if we go to c to a you're gonna clear all the thing again and A, B, C. So it's not going to be stacked like repeatedly, but A, B, C, clear, and A, B, C, like that. But what if we pop up to inclusive fools? It's going to be like this. So A, B, C again, but we pop up to A, right? So pop the C and pop the B, but pop up to inclusive is fools, so I'm not going to remove A. So it's going to be stacked like this. So we have a two instance of A because, because we didn't pop up too inclusively. I hope you guys understood. And that's all. Have a nice day.